need to do something for the hurricane victim because it's about to hit. So instead of being reactive, let's be proactive. So we started this hurricane relief thing on Wednesday. So we started off and within two hours we had an airplane, a hangar, and a trailer. The norm of life what people call it. So we're dealing with COVID and now they're dealing with a hurricane. Exactly. So things are stacking up and that's what causes stress on life. Yes, they say. So if we can yeah. show people that, hey, we're there for them to help yeah. us work, yeah. it means a lot. It's coming right. from North Carolina, coming from Fayetteville. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Because we're in this together. We oh, really yes. are. Yes, we are. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. What did you bring? You brought some? We brought some, some towels and, and toothpaste, soap, um, and also some toiletries as well. When it comes to recovery from a natural disaster, it takes months. So we're just trying to continue and keep this train going. And that's that's what our goal and purpose is, is to help those in need. And uh, we show them what Fayetteville Fort Bragg area is about. And that's, that's where we're at. Fayetteville residents can be considered as subject matter experts in resiliency after recovering from three hurricanes in four years. So it is no surprise Rick can mobilize the community with a donation drive. Let's Fill These Trailers Relief Campaign was organized to support Louisiana and Texas while they experienced the danger, destruction, and destitute from two recent hurricanes.